Well, anyway, I'm a little bit tired of this heat. I'm, I'm a little bit fed up with it. I mean, I'm cranky again. I'm, I'm heat cranky, yeah? Um, and just whiny and unhappy. And, and, I, and, I, and I thought, what is this? What's going on? What's going on here? I'm suffering. I'm really suffering. This is not fun. Oh, the Buddha's four noble truths. There is suffering. There is a cause of suffering. There is a way to end the suffering. And the fourth noble truth is how to end the suffering. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. And, and, this and ice. Yeah, and swimming pool. <laughs> the eight noble things. The eight noble coolers. <laughs> So then I remembered, all right, to be alive is to suffer. And I'm reading this really great book. I don't know if, who recommended it, but I think it's from the Buddha Buddies, Saturday. It's How to Be Sick. Did you, you know about that? Yes? You were in, was it from Jeff that the book came? Yeah. Your dad. Okay. Well, it's, it's like a little tiny encyclopedia of Buddha's teachings. It's like all of them right there, one after the other, talking about, oh right, I, when I'm teaching my meditation class, I, I talk about this, it's like, your leg goes to sleep, and it makes you crazy. It's not your leg, it's this body. You are not asleep. Your leg is not asleep. This leg is asleep. So she talks about it, Tony something, um, and she's got this really chronic ill, illness and so she's talking about all these things and it's brilliant it's just brilliant it goes through all the Buddhist teachings so there's suffering to be alive there's suffering and we forget we forget we forget we forget things go along good and we think oh this is really nice I like this and then it gets 90 degrees one day and, and I'm like Wah! expecting it to be perfect expecting it to be rainy sometimes so, just to be alive is to have some inconvenience, some suffering, some sometimes when you're not as happy as you would, would like to be. And you, and you can't change it, because this is what it's about. This is samsara, cycle of birth, old age, sickness, and death. Round and round and round. And our memories are so short gone. Five minutes later. Oh, I'm so hot. Oh, right. That's what happens. This is what this body is about. And since we have these amazing minds, we suffer more than most animals. Because we, we grasp it. We attach. We latch onto it. And we, 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 we just hug it to us. Our suffering, my dear poor suffering self. Oh, this is so terrible. How can I bear this? Um, but it's not. It's not me. I don't know who me is. But it's not me, it's this body. It's like you cut a tree down. The tree's, tree falls down. I don't know what that means. Um, so it's so important just to remember that there is suffering. There is suffering, there's unsatisfactoriness. There's many different ways to translate dukkha. Um, suffering is not the best word. But unsatisfactoriness with this life, with this body. So we remember that, and then we're good for 20 minutes, and then psh, gone, lost. Huh? Why am I so unhappy? Oh, I'm too hot. Oh, right, suffering. Round and round and round. And round. That's all. <laughs>